一個月前，激進組織青年黨襲擊肯尼亞加里薩大學，導致近一百五十名師生喪生。美國國務卿克里喺內萊北同肯尼亞總統肯亞塔同其他官員會談，佢對遇難者表達哀悼，並且話安全同執法只係反恐行動嘅一部分。Is to persuade and prevent people, particularly young people, from joining such groups as Al Shabaab, Boko Haram, and Daesh. Hakli 话，成功打败青年党等恐怖组织，要靠政府同地方社区之间建立信任。That includes members of Kenya's Muslim community, who were among the first to march against the terrorists in Garissa, and it also includes Somali refugees. In Kenya, who are here after all, because they fled from and despise Al Shabaab. 美国资深外交官、前驻肯尼亚大使卡尔森话：，肯尼亚必须要采取一种既能够打击青年党，又唔会疏离其他社会成员嘅方法。It has to be sharp, laser-like, and surgical. The country should be careful not to alienate its Muslim citizen population. Who contribute so much to the diversity, vitality, and health of Kenya? America 为肯尼亚打击青年党提供咗训练同设备，并对嗰个地区发动无人机袭击。但系美国大西洋理事会嘅非洲中心主任彼得范话：喺军事上打败激进分子，并不代表将佢哋彻底打败。The movement has transformed itself from less a territorial entity seeking to control parts of Somalia. Into a transnational terrorist entity, which has to be fought not with purely military means, but also police, intelligence, and also social, economic, and political development and inclusion. Hakli 访问肯尼亚期间，仲宣布华盛顿将会追加四千五百万美元支持联合国喺肯尼亚救助难民嘅行动。部分肯尼亚官员对青年党利用肯尼亚境内达达布难民营喺肯尼亚发动袭击表达关注。美国之音记者多金斯，内罗不报道。